I have already marked your seed. They shall not be outside, but they will be inside the ark of my presence. You have become drunk with the cares of this life, and you are troubled in mind and spirit, says the Lord. You are troubled by the things you have come to believe will be beyond your reach, but you must know that I have heard your prayers from the first day you came to me with tears and a trembling heart about your concerns. I have already answered the very thing that you are anxious about. Your seed will touch many. They have been chosen from long ago. They will emerge at the hour of my choosing. These children of yours will be almost unrecognizable to you because I will anoint them to do exploits. They will know me and they will accomplish all I have laid my hand on them to do. Not only will they do great things, but they will be in the company of those I am raising up who also will do great things. They will be friends with mighty evangelists. They will be friends with anointed psalmists, as well as highly anointed influential Christian leaders. And God said your children and your grandchildren We'll meet together regularly to share amazing stories of breakthrough and answered prayers. And some of their stories, God said, will even exceed your own stories. I have declared this to be so even before you were wed. They will become even greater than you can imagine. They have my name already stamped upon their forehead and shall go in and out of places where others cannot go. As for you, you have fretted and grieved about what kind of footprint you will leave behind. God said, oh, but you cannot yet see what I have in store for you. Your previous footprint cannot compare to what God is gonna do. I have already declared your end from your beginning. You are attempting to see in a dark place where my glory has not yet fully arisen upon what I'm going to do with you. You're looking through a glass darkly. My golden light will arise upon you and shall be seen upon you. Just as with Sarah of old, your last trimester is going to produce far greater than you have ever known. The thing that I'm birthing in you I'm giving you the authority to tend to, to care for, and to bring to fruition the things that I have promised you, not somebody else. After a short travail, you will attend to what you have been carrying that no one else could see. What you knew as a sketch will all be filled in with bold lines and dramatic color and framed just for this season of your life. What you once despised will be displayed as a complete work of my grace and glory. The things that you had to go through that caused you tears and heartbreak and anguish and even a loss of confidence and at times a loss of faith, God said what you once despised, that season that you had to go through will now be on display like a piece of art on an easel and it will be a completed work of my grace and my glory. Your voice will be heard. Your halting lack of confidence will melt away. I will cause your voice to carry others and your words will become beams of light for those still struggling like you once struggled for so long. Call between yesterday and today. Do not attempt to look into my glorious plans because your eye can't see and your ear can't yet hear and it's not yet entered into your mind what I'm going to do. What I have for you has appeared to you as a bucking stallion that you were unable to get on and ride. But when you finally mount the season that I've been preparing for you, you'll find out it wasn't a horse at all that wasn't ready. It was you. You'll mount up with ease and your latter footprint will be far greater 
than all the previous misunderstood years. Only those who have been me will ride with me in that day that I have declared and revealed unto you. This day I have measured you, I have marked you and yours, and I will give you my hidden manna so that you may have the strength for the days ahead. Rejoice! I have not only hidden you in my pavilion, but I have hidden your sons and your daughters, and they shall abide under the shadow of my wings. I, the Lord, am more able to perform what I have promised.